I got to shout out this God, outfit this as well. Guy, this guy's out. Yeah. Blue jacket, blue suit. You look, I mean, this is. It's like a is, draft suit you're wearing. Uh, he you looks look amazing, incredible. HB. It's basically just showing you up in so many ways. Oh, this is, um, <laughs> this is it's a poor man's coat, <laughs> and, right? And someone who I was supposed poor. to intro you by saying, someone who knows about the NBA Finals, Harrison Barnes, but I really want to intro you by saying, you are Richard Jefferson's rookie. Yes. And I need all the dirt. Spell all the tea. Let's go. Uh, he's definitely improved since, since our first interview. Yes. He's gotten a lot more professional, but the first one was rough. Yeah. Harrison was my first interview. My back was awful. I couldn't do anything, and so I was just like, look, I'm going to start doing this media stuff, mm -hmm. and I made Harrison be my first interview. Poor guy. So look normally at... rookie duties are like you got to get the team donuts, you got to wear a silly backpack. He made you sit for a media interview because he was trying to learn how to be on TV. Yeah, his back was shot. You know, he didn't know how many years he had left, and he's like, hey, I might want to get into this media thing. So right. I was yeah. like, Okay, well, let's you know see what you got, and he you know tried to you know stumble through some awful. questions. Mm -hmm. Worse than I am now, if people can believe that. <laughs> yeah, I was sure. gonna say I don't know how many years you have left now. It, so that's and, what's, <laughs> and, what, and what's crazy is that little did I know that two years later we would be three years later, two years yeah. later we'd yeah. be matched up against each other in the NBA Finals. Yeah. That was a proud moment for me. Very very cool. I do want to talk though about you going to Sacramento. You were traded mm -hmm. to the Kings in February. I thought you guys were gonna make the playoffs. I loved watching this team this season. Uh, what were your impressions of the team, the organization, and sort of the future there? Uh, it was it was fun playing with Zach. Um, you know, for the second part of the season, yeah. um, we played extremely fast. The guys in the locker room were great guys. Organization, unbelievable. Fans playing against them. I mean, they're loud. They go crazy, and so to have that support, you know, behind you every single night was fun. Obviously, this year we didn't reach our goal, but we're optimistic about next year. I mean, they specifically acquired you because they thought you were what could push them over the edge. They wanted that veteran presence, someone who knew You're what they did. You're a veteran. Did. <laughs> someone Almost who knew the if they got there what to do <laughs> once they got now. there. Um, being wanted like that is cool. I, I do have to ask, though, you have a player option coming up this summer. So I want you to give your veteran advice to him. Oh, he can wow. take the Which player option. Advice? $25 million, <laughs> or he can go on the open market. Take that $25 <laughs> million, dollars, young fella. I'll tell you the same thing I would have told you 10 years ago. Take that money. $25 million is something that's guaranteed. Put it in your bank and then just hit free agency. Plus, you got a new coach. You know, there's a lot of different things going on. I don't know the coach. He sounds like kind of a, a jerk. Yeah, uh, but, old <laughs> yeah, that would be Richard's yeah. old college roommate, Lou Walton. Um, <laughs> um, do you, do you, have you told them yet what you plan to do? No, I mean, kind of just taking it day by day. Okay. Uh, you, know. <laughs> you gotta love it when someone's saying, "Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna take this 25 million day by day." Like, just asking. Yeah, you know, that's the right answer. See, he's good at media. He's much better than I am. Right? Exactly. I had, I had good teachers. There I had you good go. teachers in media. There you go. We'll sure. let you off the hook for that. I want to ask you about R.J. Hampton because he was the number five recruit incoming this year's ESPN 100. He was supposed to make his college selection on Get Up today. Ooh. Instead, Ooh. here's what happened. Take a listen. What have you decided you're going to do? Um, next year, uh, I will be going overseas uh, to play in the Australian Basketball League mm -hmm. with the New Zealand Breakers. My dream has never been to, to play college basketball. My dream has always been to get to the next level and to play in the NBA. So, I mean, I think this was the best route for me uh, to, to live like a pro and, and play with grown men every day and, and not kind of have to juggle books and basketball and just focus on my main goal. I think this is so interesting. And Harrison, you were once the top recruit in the country coming out of high school, so you're the perfect person to ask. He's not the first one to say in recent years, you know what, I don't, why do I need to go to college for a year? What's that going to do for me when I could do something more professional? What do you think of this decision? Well, you got to, you know, respect his transparency and honesty. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's going there and saying, look, you know, I want to play in the NBA. You know, that's something that I aspire to do. That's something I want to do, and I want to get the best, um, prerequisite for that right. which is going overseas and playing professional basketball so you know if you have the maturity to do that if you have the you know support and situation to go over there and play at a high level knowing that you want to play in the NBA I think it's great yeah and I think the transition is a little bit easier like some guys that are going to Lithuania or guys that are going to China <laughs> right. I think the transition of playing in Australia in Australia, yeah. Australia and again it's a step up right is it high level NCAA basketball no but are you playing against bigger stronger more athletic people than you would be playing against obviously in high school yes so I think it's I think it's a great move for him if this is what you want to do I'm over the NCAA like I think the whole thing is BS I think it's great Did you go to Arizona? yeah I went to Arizona but my whole thing is just 
just there's a lack of transparency that goes yes. on, right? They don't have money, but coaches are going to get paid $8 million a year to coach, you know, every single year. But we don't know where money can come up, but presidents are making $2 million a year, and it's a nonprofit organization. Yeah. It's like that money's coming from someplace, and to not even let players make money off their likeness. But if this kid, now it's a groundbreaking decision for him to go do what he wants to do versus one semester in college. If you were coming out of high school now, do you think you would still want to go to the college path? Do you think that you would want to do something like this? Uh, I probably still would have went to the college path. Um, you know, Carolina was, you know, one of my favorite schools growing up. So um, I enjoyed my experience there. But I know for some kids, you know, like RJ, mm -hmm. you know, there's other options, there's alternative options to go and play. And if that's what he wants to do, and ultimately if he goes on and has a great NBA career, then it would all been worth it. Yeah, by the way, you, you look good in that uniform. Well, ask him, ask him his middle name. <laughs> ask him his middle name. Ask him what his middle name is. What, what is your middle name, Harrison Barnes? Uh, Bryce Jordan. There you go. <laughs> Jordan, ran at Carolina. He knew where he was going. And look, obviously being there was good for you. And we keep saying for Zion, obviously he raised his profile so much being a Duke. Being a Duke was good for him. Even if he didn't get paid in dollars, it certainly got him to a point where he maybe is positioned to make more in endorsements coming out of school. But that's not true for everyone. Not right. everyone's Zion Williamson. And I love the fact that we're seeing players make more tailored decisions about what's best to them instead of just all funneling through the same system. I think that is very smart.